Hey guys, welcome back to All in Law. Um, this is a medical video lecture, physiology. And today in this video, we're gonna talk about the differences between red muscles and the white muscles. Red muscles and white muscles okay so let me brief you with what are the red muscles and what are the white muscles remember the right red muscles means they contain large amount of myoglobin that's why they are called as red muscles they contain large amount of myoglobin whereas in what you call uh, white muscles they contain less amount of uh, Myoglobin, that's why they are called white muscles or pale muscles. In red muscles, these muscles are also called as the slow muscles or slow twitch muscles. You know, because they, they have what you call large number of type 1 fibers. Whereas in pale muscles, you get type 2 fibers. What are the type 1 and the type 2, if you ask me? The type 1 fibers, the type 1... The type 1 fibers are slow fibers or slow twitch fibers. They have smaller diameter, remember. That's why they are called as type 1 fibers. Small diameter, okay. In a type 2 fibers, they are called as the fast fibers or the fast twitch fibers which have larger diameter. Large diameter, okay. Larger diameter, remember, compared to the type 1. So, these red muscles they have the type 1 fibers right so the contraction time is longer in this type of muscles okay for example if you talk if you, if you wanna if you ask me the examples for the red muscles these are the muscles of the back gastrocnemius muscles okay these are the examples for red muscles where you find more amount of myoglobin whereas in white muscles they are called the white as i said because of the less quantity of what you call myoglobin and they contain the type 2 fibers. What are the type 2 fibers? They, the type 2 fibers are nothing but they, are, they have larger diameter. Okay, they are fast, they are fast twitching fibers. Okay, and in these muscles, the white muscles, the contraction muscles, what you call the contraction time is shorter in these types of muscles. Okay, examples for what you call the white muscles are like muscles of the hand, ocular muscles. Okay, right. So let's talk about the differences. right so differences regarding the red muscles that are all known, known as the slow muscles and they are fast muscles or white muscles or fast muscles type 1 fibers in red muscles type 2 in a what you call the white muscles type 1 because of the small diameter type 2 is a larger diameter right myoglobin content is more 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 here and here it's a less 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 right so that's why it's known as a pale muscle also or the sarcoplasmic reticulum, the sarcoplasmic reticulum is less extensive. What's the function of the sarcoplasmic reticulum? It helps during the contraction of the skeletal muscles, right? It releases the calcium that causes the contraction, okay? So that's the function of the sarcoplasmic reticulum. We're going to make another video on that. Sarcoplasmic reticulum is less extensive. And here it's a more extensive. Okay, if you talk about the blood vessels, the blood vessels in what you call the red muscles is uh, are more expensive. Sorry, more extensive. Okay, and here they are less extensive because they are large. They need a lot of blood supply. That's why they are more extensive, right? If you talk about the mitochondria, mitochondria. Tell me where it will be the more in number is in the red muscles or the white muscles. It's gonna be in the remember it's gonna be in the red muscles. They are more, they are more, they are more. They are less, they are less, they are less in white muscles. Okay. Right guys? Excellent. As we said, the response is slow with a long latent period in red muscles, whereas response is rapid with a short latent period in white muscles, right? 
and the contraction if you talk about the contraction is less powerful in what you call though they are more in number the contraction is less powerful compared to what you call white muscles they are more powerful okay and in red muscles so this muscle is involved in the prolonged continued activity as it undergoes sustained contraction whereas in what you call the white muscle is not involved in the prolonged or continued activity as it relaxes the immediately right so that's also a very important difference and if you talk about the fatigue fatigue occurs slowly in case of red muscles fatigue slowly in case of red muscles and it's quickly because they act fast because they what you call they have a short latent period that's why they occur they, they, they undergo fatigue very early okay guys and these red muscles what you call for ATP production they are dependent on cellular respiration cellular respiration okay not able to write guys okay whereas red mus uh, white muscles or pale muscles they are depend upon the glycolysis for ATP glycolysis for the ATP so these are the differences just you got an idea I think okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video take care